Hi, I'm Captain Beeler with CJTF HOA Behavioral Health. I'm a behavioral health officer. So what we've done today is basically for the last eight weeks, um, my team and myself have worked with the Armed Forces of Djibouti Rapid Intervention Battalion, also known as the BEER, on various training modules for insomnia and sleep. And today actually marks the testing portion where we're gonna be testing the BEER medics on their competency and proficiency levels. Hi, my name is Captain Sam Anderson and I work with the SVAP here on Camp Lemmy. So this training is important for CJTFOA's uh, mission and lines of effort because they actually run in parallel with the Embassy and the Chief of Missions lines of effort as well. The collaboration between CJTFOA and the Security Force Assistant Brigade is actually the first of its kind to enhance the SFAB mission with the beer at Camp Allium. So the trainings provided the medics with some basic skills to facilitate sleep hygiene classes, identify effective ways to promote their sleep even in an austere environment. So they were given practical tools to help soldiers wind down and taught how to best use these in their setting. They were then trained to facilitate insomnia severity index screenings as well as like how to interpret the scores. This battalion is very new. They stood up in 2018 and the medics have been uh, medics for a few years. Through that time and the mission with the SFAB, they've, they've been able to learn a ton of medical training um, and seem very proficient in it. However, up until this moment, they've never had mental health training. Having medical skills is great, but there are things that a medicine doesn't fix, that um, you know, a bandage doesn't fix, and they knew that. As a result of this training, the behavioral health team advanced the capacity and capabilities of the beer medical section and actually addressed critical needs within the battalion. So as SFAB advisor teams, our rotations are six months long, and really that first month we focus on building rapport. So it's not so much focusing on knocking out training tasks or training objectives. We're looking at building those relationships to set us up for success when we actually execute training. And that's the reason why my team's been so successful here. And we've been able to invite our partners like from Behavioral Health to help us out with the training because we've built that relationship and now it makes those training objectives that much easier to accomplish. 